this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create the energy ball. It's also called the La Chi exercise, which basically means pulling energy, like an elastic band, or extending energy. Imagine you have putty in your hand and you're, you're pulling the putty. Okay? So this incorporates all that we've learned so far, the breathing technique, as well as the spine alignment and the posture. And now we're going to add some hand movement. So all I'm doing is just doing this. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm doing, let me explain. So remember, we did the breathe in and then breathe out. So we're going to use prenatal breathing. We're going to expand our stomach as we breathe in. But at the same time, we're going to open up our hands. So expand your stomach. Open your hands, and then as you move your hands back together, we're going to contract our stomach. Okay, and then we're going to imagine that there's an energy ball in between your palms. And if you do this at home for, for a few times, if you're sensitive, you should be able to feel some kind of tingling between the palms of your hands, on your fingers. Some people may describe it as a numbness, uh, electrical sensations. Some may feel heat or pressure, coolness. Okay, so what you're feeling is what people may call chi. So as you do this, as they come together, you should feel some kind of magnetic energy sensation. If you don't believe in chi, it's okay. It's just all in your head. Just imagine. Just imagine. Use your imagination. So just imagine as you're opening up that the ball is elastic and your hands are stuck to it and you're pulling this elastic ball bigger and bigger. So you can feel two forces happening at the same time. As you're opening up, the ball is trying to pull your hands together. And then as you're moving them in together, you feel the ball pushing back because it's a rubber ball and it's got buoyancy, it's got uh, elastic. Okay. So expanding, pulling, Pulling that chi, chi taffy. You can imagine just chi taffy, and you're pulling that. And then when you're just contracting, same thing. You're squeezing this energy ball. Okay. Your hands need to be relaxed, so never completely open your hands and never completely close your hands. So what I'm doing is as I'm expanding, my hands, if you can see, are opening slightly. So this is neutral. As I'm expanding, my hands are opening slightly. As I'm contracting, my hands are going back to slightly contracted, but never closed. Slightly contracted, okay? So, so slightly open the hands. Slightly contract the hands. Never completely closed. Slightly open the hands. Slightly contract the hands. And you should be doing this at the um, sternum level. So you don't do it so high. It's going to make your shoulders tired. If you do it too low, you might not get the energy flowing. So around your sternum. Okay, now we're going to combine the breath. So we're going to breathe in, expanding, 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 breathe out, contracting, nice and slow, contracting, contracting, contracting. Okay, while you're here, kind of feel the ball, feel the elasticity, feel the magnetism, Feel that 
and then expand again. And contract. You, you gotta do this slow. You gotta use your imagination. Otherwise, you won't feel you don't feel that much. Another thing that's gonna be helpful is imagine that you're underwater and you wanna move as little as possible as not to disturb the water. You don't wanna make any ripples in the water. So just imagine you're underwater and you wanna move without disturbing the water. Make as little water disturbing or water noise as possible while doing this movement. And you know what's even better is actually go into a pool, stand like this and do it. And do exactly that. Try not to disturb the water and try to remain as straight as possible. Okay. Whenever you contract, move the ball around so you can feel it, feel the energy, move it around. Okay. Now I want you to add one more thing. I want you to add how la So what I'm doing is just how and la. When I'm compressing, I'm how and when I open it I say la. Okay, and that may help you feel more vibration throughout your whole body because your voice is creating a vibration that will kind of loosen up your whole body, activate the chi too. You may feel your hands uh, getting even more tingly, or more magnetic, more heat in your hands. So if you do this, usually about five minutes into doing this, you'll feel your hands getting pretty hot. Okay. I'll show you from the side. Okay, so you might notice that my body kind of rises a little bit as I'm spanning and it's kind of going towards the front of my feet, my balance. And as I'm coming back, I'm kind of sitting back more. My balance is more towards the heel. Or maybe the other way, uh, let's say, let's can I go back and then up? Some people might do this, they kind of go back and then up when they contract, but in a very subtle way. So breathe in, breathe out. So don't watch what I'm doing and purposely go rocking back and forth like that. That's not what you want to do. It's something that just happens as you are breathing and expanding and compressing. So the purpose of this is to start to feel the energy, feel the chi. Most people find that it's easiest to uh, feel chi in your hands because we use our hands all the time and they're very sensitive. And it's where a lot of people admit their chi is through their fingers and through their hands. We're actually scientifically proven to be photosensitive with our hands. So we can feel um, photons, light energy, and we can also project light energy with our hands and with our fingers. There's been um, uh, scientific research done with uh, photoelectric, photon electric cameras that measure not heat, but that measure photon emissions, like light emissions. And they're able to find that the most strongest photo emissions from Chigo Masters come from we call this sword hand position. Okay, so what you're feeling is actually photon emissions from your hands, combined with many other things like heat, blood flow, um, electricity. Right, so this exercise helps you to start feeling the chi in your hands, and the purpose is to eventually be able to feel that throughout your arms your torso, your, your body, your, your hips, your legs, and your feet, your face, 
and, the, and also most importantly internally inside your body and throughout your acupuncture points. So in the next lesson, I'm going to share with you another progression of this exercise.